All right, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How are y'all? Hope everybody's doing okay today. It is Monday afternoon, and as everybody or somebody had guessed or a few people had guessed, we got some good news on the job front this morning. I did get the job at the port, so uh, tomorrow we're going to put her up to the office up there and do the paperwork, and then uh, I have to go through a gun class because it is an armed class. It is an armed post, and uh, I'm not armed certified right now. I have been before just a class and go shoot i can do it in my sleep but anyway so that's good news we'll be getting back to work not exactly what i had lost but uh you know it's better than anything so we're going to start with coffee i realized earlier that i haven't used my coffee press in a while and i love my french press i think this is a wonderful way to make really really good coffee and uh, so anyway that's what we're going to do we're going to pour us a fresh cup here Quick as I get the, the uh, plunger down here. Now, I have stated before and I will state again, it does not bother me to have a little bit of a muddy cup of coffee. It really, really, really doesn't bother me. So anyway, all right. Get us a little coffee poured here in the, our uh, Cypress Bayou Casino mug. Ironically, Cypress Bayou Casino is the... Uh, place that I've worked the longest of any one job. I was there for eight years. And uh, before I moved to take a supervisor spot over here, that's when I came over to Baton Rouge. So there we go. That's trivia for today. Also, you may notice we're using a different phone today. I'm going to see how this one does. Oh, that coffee's good. I'm going to see how this one does. This is a 10R. And uh, the phone I've been using is a 7 Plus. But, uh, so anyway, we're going to use the 10R for a while and see how it does for us. So it is Monday, so we're going to do a menthol Monday now. Some people may know, some people may not know, whatever. I am a fan of Bulgarian shave creams. Rose of Bulgaria is one of my favorite rose creams. I've got some others that a buddy of mine, a shave buddy from mine from Bulgaria had sent. One of the ones he sent with his Supermax menthol. I understand there are some other Supermax. The menthol is the only one I've ever used. A really, really, really nice cream. Uh, for a razor today, let's go back to about 1900, I believe it is. And uh, I haven't gone and, you know, I forget dates. I really do. But I believe this one was around a 1900 model of the Camp Star. And uh, I'll go look it up and everything. But it's got the little lever in the back there to hold the blade in. It's got the little tabs on the side. This is, could be used with a wedge just fine. And uh, I just don't happen to have a uh, wedge blade that I feel is really sharp enough to do the job right now because I've never learned to hone blades. I've never invested in stones or lapping film or anything like that. I'm sure I could, I just never have. Now I have shaved with wedge blades that were, you know, fairly good. I got a couple of shaves out of them and the quality of the shave with a wedge and a modern blade is really not that different in one of these razors. Um, I, I know that some people think you need to shim everything uh, I just don't agree with that. I've said it a million times. If you want to shim something, go install a window or a door. All right, so that's what it looks like when it goes in. It's got the little tab in the back that holds it up. Now, the neat thing about these uh, these small razors is the head actually opens so you can clean them. And I think that's really neat. But, uh, you know, little ladder catcher, definitely a ladder catcher. Uh, the handle on here is obviously not the original handle. This is a JRA handle. And... Uh, he actually made it for a different razor, but I'm not a big fan really of changing handles around and doing stuff. But every once in a while, when you got a buddy that makes razor blades, razor handles, doesn't make razor blades. He makes handles and brushes. Well, anyway, when he hand turns you a handle, you know, you got to use it every once in a while. And as I remember correctly, the ferrule on top there was made by T. White out in California. But anyway, so that's what we're going to do. I have a uh, Everetti 200, one of the first brushes I ever re -knotted. and this has been many moons ago, this is when I lived over across the basin, it was an Everetti 200. I love these green handles. I've seen some that were even prettier than this one. But anyway, that's a golden nib uh, silver tip badger. It's always been a really, 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 really good brush for me. So we're going to, uh, I was digging around in the brush box. Yes, I have a box for everything. I have a box under the counter that's razors. The stuff that I don't keep on top in rotation. As you saw the other day, I've got a box full of razor blades and I've got a box that's got shave brushes in it. And then I got 
10 brushes or so up here in the medicine cabinet behind where the camera is here. So anyway, that's going to be today's shave. So why don't we quit talking and get on to another ladder catcher shave. Now sometime this week, I'll be doing some more auto strop shaves. Uh, Jayara acquired a uh, auto strop B2, I believe it is, from, no it wasn't, it's an A2. Yes, it was an A2 that he acquired from uh, Tom. So he's going to do some auto shops today. I think his whole week is going to be auto strops or valley auto strops, whichever he chooses for that day. And I think we'll join in on some of that before it's over with. So on to the Supermax here. Here we go. Now I'm going to just, uh, the other day I, with the kiss my face, I put it on the end of the brush. That works really well. But uh, today we're just going to take a little bit of the cream and put it on the face. It doesn't take a tremendous amount of cream. Even face light on a cream, you know, it doesn't take a tremendous amount. You just get a little bit spread around and then you're going to let the brush do the work. I love the scent of Supermax. Scent has nothing to do with performance, but it doesn't hurt. So we'll take a damp brush. You don't want it wet, because if you've got a really wet brush, you're just going to be slinging stuff all over the place. And the first thing we're going to do is just run over and start getting everything spread into a paste. Over the face. Get that wonderful Supermax menthol scent going. And then we're going to put a little extra. Start adding water. Now, when we add water, my way of doing it is you just dip the very tip of the brushes into the water. There you go. I've seen people who would leave a little drizzle of water out of the uh, out of the tap and use that and this, that, and the other and make it sound like it was rocket science to get a little water on the tips of your brush. It's not rocket science, boys and girls. Oh, if you haven't, you should go watch. NASA has a video. I saw it posted on BBC News. BBC is one of the one of my favorite news services online. Uh, NASA has a video of the uh, Perseverance landing. It, uh, it starts with the uh, heat shield falling off and you get a look at the parachute coming down and, and then you get a look at the uh, the landing with the uh, jet pack or whatever they're calling that. I call it a jet pack for the landing. It's really, really a neat video. If you get a chance, go check that out. I imagine it's all over YouTube by now, but like I said, I saw it on BBC. All right. No secret on how to use one of these. It's a razor. You use it like a razor. Nice shallow angle. This is shave number two or three on this blade. I can't remember, but it's still in really good shape. Really good shape. Such nice shaves. Now the question is, why is for the shaving in the middle of the day when it really doesn't have anything to do? The reason is, I don't know. Why not? I won't need to shave before I go to the office in the morning. I'm just going to do paperwork. But uh, I'll probably shave before the class on Wednesday so that I look presentable in the class. Oh, these are such nice razors. If you ever get a chance to get a hold of a Camp Brother star, I would say, listen to this. How you like that? I like it a lot. And does such a good job and they're easy to use. Alright. We'll get that second second round of lather going on. Such a nice lather. These Bulgarian cream, they lather easy. They've got nice scents to them. Just a high quality cream. I don't think they're real expensive. Now, I, all the Bulgarian creams I have, I've got Bulgarian creams and I've got Portugal creams. I like the Portugal creams too. The Musco Real. I've got a couple of different of uh, a couple of different versions of the Musco Musco rib, but uh, so I like the Portuguese creams too. 
All righty, these are so nice. All right, get a little cross grain thing going here. Agent 007 came over with Fuzzy. You may remember Fuzzy from some previous videos when he lived here with me. And uh, we took Fuzzy and Luna down at the ball, down to the dog park. There's soccer fields there, but they don't get out on the soccer fields. It's an actual dog park. They had a good time. All right. Oh, that's a nice shade going. These, uh, this particular one has a lot of really nice blade feel to it. Uh, not all leather, ca leather catchers have a lot of blade feel. I know a lot of them people say are milder feeling. They still get a very good job done. This one has got some blade feel to it, though. It's a really comfortable shade, though. All right. Get this all nice and cleaned off. Yeah. Well, we can put our witch hairs alone and finish up. But I really appreciate all the good vibes, everybody, over the last several weeks while I've been fighting this mess. It, uh, it's been a kind of an amazing journey to me. In uh, 51 years, I've never, I've never been asked to leave a job. I've left plenty of jobs, changed jobs and whatnot, but I've never been asked to leave a job. I've never been made to leave a job. And it was, uh, it was an adventure. So, uh, you know, people wonder what happened. What happened to Fuzzy? Well, here's what happened. So, uh, plants like that, you have a, a list of approved people to come in and work. And if people aren't on the approved list, they have to be checked out and approved by upper management before they come in. So there's a process for that. So the back gate, apparently, two days in a row, there was a company that went in the back gate that wasn't authorized to be on site. And uh, we deal with that kind of stuff every day. Everything goes through the front gate. Back gate calls front gate. Front gate's where the supervisor is. We go through the people over our head and it all gets taken care of. Boy, look at that nice shade. So anyway, so the back gate claimed that two days in a row that they called up front and I authorized a company to go in that I've never heard of. So it was either one or two things. There was either some miscommunication there and they had, you know, this company was coming in to work for another company. And they said, no, no, no. We, we said the company coming in, not the company they were coming in for. Because the company they were coming in for was approved. I don't remember even hearing the company they were coming in for called in. But, you know, I, I, I just don't. So I know good and well that there is absolutely no way that I authorize the company to come in without going through the steps. It's something we do literally four or five times a day sometimes, sometimes more. I, I've done it upwards of five or six times a day with, when it was busy. Companies coming in to do stuff. They're not authorized. It's a process. So the company there, the client, not allied, but not the company I work for, but the company we contracted with to do the work at the plant, did an investigation, supposedly. And you know who they didn't talk to when they did the investigation? Fuzzy. No one asked me nothing. They talked to the people at the back gate. They looked at phone records and said, well, yeah, they called. And it's like, yeah, the back gate calls the front gate 100 times a day. Probably more. And they would have had to have called when those companies come in because when you give out visitor badges or you give out work badges or when you give out badges, Main Gate puts the badges and the names and everything into the computer so that everything's good before the company goes in. So yeah, they had to call for that. But all we get is names for that. We don't get company names. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So that's what happened. They said Fuzzy authorized a company to come in two days, not one day. Two days in a row, they called and, and Fuzzy authorized that company to come into the plant when they wasn't authorized. Total BS, what can you do? Go find another job. That's about all you can do. So anyway, there we go with a wonderful shave. And it really is a wonderful shave from these old razors. Um, I do enjoy the, uh, 
the wedge blade shaves, it's, it, uh, the wedges do feel different. They have a different blade feel. I just got to get a couple of good wedge blades honed. I have a couple of good wedge blades. So for aftershave, I thought, well, you know, Acavella Ice Sport. I don't wear this very often at all. I've had this bottle since uh, 2009. I know it was 2009 because I was 40 years old. I got this bottle. My granddad and my grandmother and an aunt had gotten into a car wreck. And uh, <clears throat> granddad was in the hospital. And I remember I had bought this and I took this up so my mom could, uh, she gave him a shave. Excuse me just one second. <coughs> gave him a shave while he was in intensive care before he passed away. And uh, this is the, this was a really nice, uh, easy uh, squirt bottle and everything. Anyway, that's why I bought it. So it's not a bad scent. The, the ice boy is really not a bad scent. It's just not something I would normally use. So there we go. That's our Menthol Monday. We're going back to work shave. It'll be a couple of days before I actually start making money because I get paperwork done tomorrow and then Wednesday's the only day they do the gun class. So I'll be in class Wednesday. But there we go. I'm going to enjoy some more of this great coffee. See how long it takes this video to upload. Looks like we're going to be around 17 minutes. Shouldn't take it too long to upload. Or at least uh, we'll see what it's going to do on the 10R. It, it might take a while on the 7 Plus. But anyway, there we go. Have a great day. Love to chat with you. Thank you for all the new subscription. We've almost made it to 400 people. And by some standards, that's not a lot. By my standards, I think it's great. I do appreciate y'all. Love all the feedback. Come see us at Toast, TOS3.com. That's where you know we do the single edge and injector razors. This video will be posted over there under the Camp Brothers uh, Star Shave. And it'll also be in what we call the Clan of Catchers, which is uh, all us ladder catcher guys over there. Y'all have a great day. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you.